The KSL In-Depth now, warmer weather's coming, sunshine's coming, a great weekend ahead. Of course, not everyone will have a great time in recent years. Search and rescue call-outs across Utah have continued to climb. That comes with a big cost for the counties and their teams. They have even threatened to charge some people for the cost of their own rescues. And if the problem doesn't get better, well now, there's a new program in Utah to give yourself a sort of insurance against getting that big bill. KSL News Radio's Paul Nelson is joining me live now. Paul, what is this about? Is this actually like rescue insurance? It in a way it is. It's called the Utah Search and Rescue Assistance Card Program. Basically, it lets people sign up for a card, and the way that they've described it is that a card has a subscription and the person will be protected from expensive non-medical rescue costs if they get lost or injured. A lot of state officials were saying, hey, look, uh, the people who do search and rescue uh, work, a lot of them are volunteers. They volunteer their own horses, their own animals, and it seems like as if uh, if they don't get reimbursed, they could really be in danger of losing a lot of these volunteers if the volunteer just says it's not worth their time or money to do so. Paul, in the past, have they really charged people for their own rescues in the state of Utah? They they have not mentioned specific cases at today's press conference, although they do have the ability to do that. But it happens extremely rarely from what we're being told. But it seems like as if a lot of search and rescue operations are looking a little bit more and more desperate. They're saying things like um, only 17 percent of their equipment request uh, expenses can actually be covered. A lot of the man hours can, but the current methods of, say, fees and uh, licenses and things like that, they just don't go far enough in order to raise money for search and rescue crews. So, so they need more money, especially for training and equipment. So let's talk about the money. How do people get these cards? Like sort of get out of jail free cards, sort of, right? Sort of. It's just a little bit more protection just in case you go out and you get lost. And we're talking about um, if people are prepared, they probably won't see any of these charges at all. But say if someone goes out in flip-flops and shorts when it's snowing, they are more likely to maybe be charged in this kind of a thing if they need a rescue. Anybody who wants to sign up for one of these cards can go to rescue.utah.gov. And as far as the pricing goes, for an individual, you can have a one-year subscri subscription for 25 bucks, a five-year subscription for 100 and for a family it's 35 for one year and 140 for five years it's actually pretty cheap right thanks yeah. a lot i mean compared to the cost of a search yes all right paul nelson live ksl news time 449 thanks paul you've been listening to the in-depth